So we have completed all the numericals, all the possible numericals of your concentration units, that is your molarity, molality, normality, formality, and mole fraction also. So I have done all the possible combinations. Please do practice it. The main concept is, uh, uh, I, when I try to give you all the numericals, I'll be giving you, like I'll be solving numericals which which will be really useful like or for you to solve your NCRT questions. Please don't completely rely, don't, I've been seeing students asking me, ma'am, are, are you going to do NCRT also? Please see, concepts are taught to you. I'll try to guide 99.99%. At least that uh, you need to pick that last, <coughs> that concept and try to apply it in your NCRT. So uh, I'll try to complete uh, everything possible, how, how much of it is required for you to score that 70 out of 70. From your side also, I expect that hard work so that you'll get that fine uh, concepts, like that refined form of studying for your board exams, yes. Both of us together only we can score that 70 out of 70, isn't it? Yes, let's come back to this concept that is vapor pressure. Now, when I speak about vapor pressure, basically what happens, suppose uh, you're taking uh, any liquid, that, if you, oh, that particular liquid, you are leaving it outside. When you're leaving it outside, what's going to happen? Uh, because of the temperature which is present around, it's going to get vaporized. Done. Now, the same condition, if you're taking any uh, type of liquid and you're placing it in a closed container, right? So, I'm trying to explain you the concept of vapor pressure. Now, when you're trying to close, uh, keep it in a closed container, the most important thing, you're evacuating the air. What is evacuation of air? You're removing all the air, right? That means, basically, this container has only uh, the uh, liquid <coughs> as, yes, that liquid <coughs> And one end you have a manometer fixed. Yes. Now what happens? So now everything is sealed. This is also sealed. This is also sealed. Now what happens after some time? Your liquid, uh, this the because of the kinetic energy, this collision between one molecule, one, 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 and finally the liquid uh, this in, uh, particles they start vaporizing. They go in the vapor phase. Yes. Now, after going to the vapor phase, there is a certain amount of pressure which is exerted on the liquid. The vapor starts exerting pressure on this liquid. Now what happened? It is basically only the liquid, there is nothing else in the container and it is sealed. Now after a certain amount of uh, time uh, and uh, this in, this, the vapor from the surface starts exerting pressure on this liquid. This is called your vapor pressure. How should I write the definition? Vapor pressure is the maximum pressure exerted, <coughs> exerted by the vapors yes at definite temperature so that particular temperature because at that particular point only the vapor and the liquid they become they attain equilibrium so at definite temperature or define its temperature when liquid and vapor phases get into equilibrium yes and this particular pressure exerted by the vapor is called vapor pressure yeah, so get into equilibrium and this pressure is called vapor pressure vapor pressure of liquid so simple isn't it just you have closed the container now this because of the collisions one <coughs> one collided with the other finally the liquid started getting uh, converting into vapor state the whole container since it is evacuated it has only vapors of the liquid which is taken and that liquid vapor starts exerting pressure on the surface of the liquid and one at one particular point the vapor vapor and the liquid the, both the pressures they attain equilibrium that maximum pressure which is applied and when these to come into equilibrium is called vapor pressure of the liquid this is your thing so what are the factors on which the vapor pressure depends basically the factors on which vapor pressure depends is first important nature of the liquid right it's going to depend on temperature yes now now, uh, when I have to uh, speak about temperature, simple isn't it? When I increase the temperature, automatically vapor pressure also increases. Quite common thing, isn't it? That it also depends upon impurities. Very, very important. It depends upon impurities. Again, in impurities, you have volatile impurities, volatile impurities, and you have 
non volatile impurities volatile means which will evaporate non volatile is which will not evaporate non means not so volatile impurities when they are present in this particular liquid yes this volatile impurities <coughs> they reduce the vapor pressure because they evaporate isn't it now when you have non volatile no it is wrong isn't it volatile impurities they'll start evaporating and they'll go above i did i mis did a mistake they increase the vapor pressure yes they immediately collide and get into vapor state non volatile impurities they reduce the vapor pressure because they don't evaporate and they stay here and try to pull the uh, atoms or the colliding molecules down so non volatile will reduce the vapor pressure volatile will reduce the uh, will increase the vapor pressure